First up, though, today we are in the kitchen cooking with Thunder Bay. The house can get hectic on Thanksgiving with family members bustling all about the kitchen. Others glued to the TV watching their football. The kids running around with the day off of school. Yeah, but Chef Mike Stigler is here with a drink to help everyone kick back and relax. And chill out. I'm excited about this. I need a little warm something on my throat. She needs a hot toddy. Feels like well, there's raw flesh and well, I need some I, warm. I think I got just what you need then. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. We're going to put it together. I yeah, like it. Um, warm apple cider. <coughs> you know what I mean? It just kind of screams out the holiday time of year, um, whether it be Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, whatever it is. And it's really easy to put together and there's a lot of different things that you can add to it depending on what you like. And it's spiked, right? You mean in terms you of can, what you, you add? You can spike it if you want. Yeah, spiked definitely. We brought you. along a couple <laughs> different things you can spike it for if you want. Um, okay. What I like to do sometimes is make it without any alcohol in it that way the kids can have it and then if you want to spike it you can do that on your own and you can put as much alcohol in there as you want or like none, none if you prefer it that way. I feel like everyone has their own hot apple cider recipe yeah. so it's like hard to like admit that you want to change something. Yeah. Are there secrets that you're going to show us that people can add in to even what they already do? Well, it's, it's kind of like about flavor combinations, okay. you know. You want to think about different things that go good with apples and that are going to be aromatic, you know, that are going to smell good once cheese. they're heated up. Cheese. Well, you taking it right to the cheese, huh? I uh -huh. guess I guess you could have some cheese with it. Yeah, but we're not going to put any cheese in ours, like a cider fondue type side. of thing. How about if we start with some cider? How okay, about that as okay. a nice basic we starting must. off place? So we've got uh, apple cider right here. Um, okay. Apple cider basically is, is similar to apple juice. It's just that it's not filtered as much. So you can tell when I'm pouring it in there that it's quite a bit cloudier than what like yeah. traditional apple juice would be. If for some reason you were to go to the store to try to put this together, they were out of apple cider. You could use juice because we're going to put enough other things in there okay. to kind of go ahead and kick that up on our own. <coughs> So we have the apple cider going in there, and this is something if you were making it at home that you could make it up earlier in the day and then just leave it on the back burner and let it kind of simmer throughout the day, and it's just going to get better as all. Let it simmer down smell. now. And then your house smells like then it, which is Then your house smells like better than potpourri. Yeah. So we're going to use a little bit of orange in here, usually some sort of a citrus. Um, will be kind of nice to give it a little bit of extra sweetness and a little bit of punch. You see some people Ooh, that are all fancy and they just like to throw just the skin in there, the zest, not me. I'm going to throw the whole thing in there. Oh, look at you. We're going to put some apples in there as well. Now, if you're going to put apples in here you can use whatever apples you prefer I like a sweet apple like a golden delicious so I'm gonna go that's ahead what and, that is a yep, golden delicious that's a golden delicious I'm gonna put that in there and then also a red delicious to mm -hmm. give it just a little bit of color okay. and a little bit of different flavor as well so we got red delicious and golden delicious apples in there big fat chunks what else goes good with apples caramel, caramel. Right? yeah so we are gonna drizzle some caramel in here and Yum. one thing you want to remember when you put your caramel in here is that you want to keep stirring it up as it heats up because otherwise that caramel might have a tendency to sink to the bottom and uh, you know, kind of burn on there. So we're going to put a cinnamon stick in there as well because everybody likes cinnamon in their apple cider. Mm. We're going to put a little bit of vanilla in there oh, as well yum. because vanilla goes really good with this sort of a deal. So a little bit of vanilla. If you had some <laughs> almond extract, you could use a little bit of almond extract as well. And then we're going to put in some spices. Um, we have cloves, nutmeg, ginger, pumpkin pie spice, which is kind of a combination of them all. I'm going to put a whole clove of, of uh, ginger in there because oh, I like fresh ginger. And then a little bit of pumpkin pie spice because that has a little bit of everything in there. And then to that, we're just going to go ahead and stir it all up and let that simmer, simmer away. And as that simmers, I got this other one that I started here earlier. You can tell that it really gets nice and everything gets nice and soft inside of there. The apples get soft and give up a lot of their flavor. The cinnamon gives up its flavor. Wait. And it all blends together really nicely. So you said cloves, nutmeg, and that ginger. Would you have put that in? You just didn't right now? Um, I put the whole ginger in there. If you yeah. don't have whole ginger, you can use powdered ginger. Gotcha. Yeah, and I what just, about the nutmeg and cloves? The nutmeg and cloves, if you use pumpkin pie spice, it kind of has all that stuff in there already. Gotcha. So that okay. way you don't have to worry about, you know, getting all the different spices. If you just get pumpkin pie spice or if you get allspice, um, those will already have a lot of that stuff in there. And if you're going to spike it, because you brought a few options, yeah. what, what's, what's your well, um, crown, suggestion? Crown apple is a really good thing to spike it with. That's what oh. we're actually going to be serving in the restaurant. Um, we oh, could also put good. something like this pecan yeah, praline try that. flavored whiskey, which would be a fantastic addition. Take mm. a smell of that once. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I love pecans. me some whiskey. Fantastic. Smells like pralines because pecans and apples are a natural. Okay. It's just a little bit, not too Should much. Should I stir it up? Stir it up, yep. All right. And excuse me, I reach. I'm going to mm -hmm. grab this one here. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, you can also put Captain Morgan's in there because Captain Morgan's has a lot of different spices in there that are already in here. So mm -hmm. things like 
cinnamon and nutmeg and different spiced things like that in there. I'm going to taste um, it first on its own. Whoa, it is that good. You could also put cranberries in there if you wanted to. Mm. Sometimes you got to kind of hold back a little bit because you can. there's so many different oh, things you can so put in there. The you find got to work out that combination mm. that's going to work out good for you. That is so really good. You can tell it's got a really nice cloudiness to it and that's all different flavors that are mm. in there. You got this the caramel. Delicious. You got the different kinds of apple in this there. This made my morning. So yeah, I mean do hot apple cider. Do mm. you serve this at Thunder Bay? We don't serve it regularly, but we are going to have it out tomorrow for the holiday, and we're okay. going to offer it just plain, and we're also going to offer it with uh, um, crown apple, which is an apple-flavored crown. Mm -hmm. so okay, that'll here's, be delicious. here's what I want to know is, we know. Um, you, are you working tomorrow, Thanksgiving? The oh, restaurant yeah. is open. All day. You, it, it's packed, right? Yeah, You've yeah, got reservations. Probably about 1,400 reservations right now, so yeah, it's going to be Can people a, still make a reservation? Uh, <laughs> reservations are probably pretty much full, but we are accepting some walk-ins, so if you want to roll the dice, if it's just a couple of people you want to come in, mm. slip in between the resos, you know, um, there's still a pretty good chance that you could get in. Molly was worried that someone would come to the door and they'd be like, I really need a Thanksgiving dinner, and you're going to say, no. Yeah, so you're well, accepting walk-ins. Yeah, <laughs> we will have some walk-ins awesome. that we will accept. <laughs> See, here's Everybody thing. tell your friends. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm First cooking cheese, for like eight, ten people. Mike's cooking for 1,300. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. donuts. We should, be, we should be able to pull it together. Yeah, these those are donuts. Are, those are cinnamon Yummy. donuts, too, because donuts and apple cider are kind of a good classic combination. Oh, I Yum. love it. All right, Thunder Bay is open tomorrow, but not a lot of room left. It's right off of exit 294. They're going to be serving this delicious cider for those of you who made reservations for Thanksgiving. You were smart enough to let someone else do the cooking. The phone number is 262-523-4244. You can go to thunderbaygrill.com. I got to have one of those donuts with this. Mitts off. Yummy. This is good stuff. Thank you so much, Mike. Mm -hmm. right on, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Thanks, too. Mike.